Well, first of all, I want to thank ICRS for the invitation for me to be here. It is a pleasure and an honor. And uh, what I've seen in this, uh, in this meeting and uh, throughout the three days that I've been here is uh, it seems to me that we are all talking about the same thing and we are all in search for the same thing and using different language, a different jargon, a different dialect. Sometimes we talk in the language, in the legal language, sometimes in the medical language, sometimes in the psychological language, but you're all talking about love. And uh, even though we, have, we see things in a different way, but we are all here worshiping the same thing, divine love. And divine, uh, I see uh, Oaxaca as a manifestation of divine love in a totality, emanating from the force of creation. Therefore, its use must be reverential and respectful. So, I acknowledge the sacredness of, uh, of these plants. And it hurts when I see Alaska being sold or being treated as a merchandise, as a commodity. And uh, the challenges that uh, UDV has faced in, in its 58 years and is the same that every one of us have faced personally or institutionally. We have faced the challenge of prejudice and suspicion. And uh, the cha these challenges are disguised in many ways, but they are the same thing. And uh, the, the ways the, the, that the prejudice has disguised itself, it always, has always one common point, abuse of authority. So, UDV has faced some challenges from the, a chief of police that arrested Master Gabriel, a bishop that said that drinking Oaxaca was a case of police, the Brazilian National Health and Drug Administration that included without any study, without any evidence of any harm, included Bunisteriopsis copy in the list of prescribed uh, substances. And I see abuse of authority also when the FBI conducted a raid to the office of Jeffrey Bruntman in the United States showing a dis disproportional display of power. And what is the response that UDV has given in all these cases? We, to each attack, we have uh, had one categorical response, which is that we strive for the development of human being in the ethical, moral, intellectual, and spiritual sense. So, as I see, we are traveling in unmapped territory. Love-based spirituality is the only option to get us back on the road of brotherhood, acceptance, tolerance, that will lead us back to the realm of peace. In a world that sees mainly means and ends and seems to have forgotten to look up for the principles, light, peace, and love is a beacon guiding us through troubled waters to the safe port where divine nature is waiting for all of us to return to. I have brought a video that uh, will be presented here with the how we have, uh, it's uh, a seven minute video, that will show what are the, uh, how we propose to address all these challenges that, have, that we have faced so far. Thank you. Thank you. 
Maria ou Santo Cristal, foi com esse pensamento. E fazer uma paz no mundo. Created by Rubber Tapper, José Gabriel da Costa, Mestre Gabriel, in the heart of the Amazon rainforest on July 22nd, 1961. The Beneficent Spiritus Center, Uniao de Vegetal, works for the development of the human being in the spiritual, moral, and intellectual sense. The UDV believes that it is possible to contribute towards the construction of a more peaceful and just world. Of love and solidarity towards our fellow man and to those in need. In order to help build peace and social justice, the UDV created the Beneficent Association Casa da União, or House of Union. Through projects such as Luz do Saber, Light of Knowledge, the Casa da União provides trainings for digital inclusion, school tutoring, adult literacy, and vocational training. The Uniao de Vegetal also benefits its members by developing and strengthening family ties because a healthy family is one of the pillars of stable society. Mestre Gabriel, quantas e quantas pessoas ele já não tirou do abismo dentro dessa, por essa religião. E nessa luta que nós tivemos grande sofrimento dentro da união do vegetal, hoje não me arrependo, porque sempre ele dizia que andava atrás de um tesouro, e esse tesouro é a união do vegetal, porque a união do vegetal é um caminho maravilhoso, um caminho de flores, dá felicidade para a humanidade, faz um casal feliz, ter seus filhos sadios. The União de Vegetal provides spiritual orientation for children and youth, the sons and daughters of its members. The foundation of this orientation is the value and importance of family and the principles of union, peace and love. Por isso que eu amo é, essa união de a todas as crianças que eu faço amizade. Eu acho isso muito legal da parte de Deus, de cada lugar Deus ter colocado a gente em uma família. Our children and youth also participate in playful activities where they learn the value of nature. They recognize that the environment is sacred and that we are a part of it. In this way, we teach the importance of the forests, of clean water and air, and of conscious consumption. Through our connection with nature, the UDV has a big mission to fulfill for the well-being of the human race and of the environment. In order to promote sustainable development, environmental education, biodiversity, forest resource management and restoration, the Uniao de Vegetal created the Novo Encanto Association for Ecological Development in 1990. In this way, the UDV conserves areas of native vegetation, principally in the Amazon, maintaining a genetic bank of the species that it considers sacred, as well as other species of plants threatened with extinction.
The UDV also maintains the Department of Plantation and Environment, aiming at the adoption of sustainable practices in the cultivation of Madidi and Chacrona, with which Awaska tea is prepared. Almost all of the preparations of vegetal in the UDV are done with plants cultivated by the center. And in this way, from the heart of the forest to the largest cities of Brazil and the rest of the world, the União do Vegetal comes growing its message of peace, bringing the hope of better days to humanity. Nosso desafio começou internacionalmente nos Estados Unidos. Nós fomos até a Suprema Corte e não dá para nós desconhecermos o aspecto espiritual que esteve envolvido em tudo isso. Atualmente na Europa, os nossos grandes desafios são exatamente é, nessa ordem também. Alguns governos estão dificultam, mas também estamos encontrando a, a solução também no âmbito espiritual. A União do Vegetal ela foi criada dentro da simplicidade por José Gabriel da Costa, também conhecido como Mestre Gabriel, nosso guia espiritual, que criou a União do Vegetal dentro da, dos seringais da, da Amazônia brasileira. E de lá, das florestas, ele trouxe a União do Vegetal para Porto Velho, onde ele formou seus primeiros discípulos, pessoas simples, que souberam dar continuidade a esta obra e que hoje está presente em todos os estados do Brasil e também em 11 países em todo o mundo. The Unial do Vegetal is doing outstanding work in the defense of the religious use of awaska tea within ethical principles. Our position is that the tea must be utilized in a responsible way and that it should never be commercialized or used with any drug. The religious and ritualistic nature of the communion of Awaska tea must be preserved at all times.